Hey guys, this is Vadim with Max Tech, and in today's video, what I have right here is two Dell XPS 13s. This one is the brand new XPS 13, the 9310. This has Intel's 11th generation processor with the built-in Intel XE graphics, which is super powerful. And this one right here has Intel's 10th generation i7 with the G7 graphics. So it was the best graphics on the 10th gen, and this is the best graphics on the 11th gen. And this is actually an i5, but it performs very well as you guys are just about to see. So what we're gonna do in this video is run some gaming benchmarks and then get into some actual gaming to see if there's a big difference between the 10th gen and 11th gen chips and to see if the Intel XE graphics is good enough to actually play decently well with decent FPS on this super thin and light premium laptop. So let's get right into it. As you guys see from that top camera above, the Sony a7S III with 4K60 recording, we've got Unigen Heaven on both of these machines. We're doing the extreme preset like we always do. For some reason the scaling is horrible, but Let's go ahead and run this and we'll get the benchmark started here in just a second. Now it's funny because I already see a ton of drop frames on the older XPS, where here everything is super smooth, at least much more smooth compared to the old one. That's very interesting. Especially in this scene right here, you guys can just see so many drop frames on the older XPS and this looks very smooth. All right, there you guys have it. We have our scores back and that's actually pretty impressive. We've got 17.6 on the old XPS and 25.9 FPS average on the new one with a maximum FPS of 59.8 and 41.9 on the other one. So that's a pretty big improvement, especially since last year's 10th gen, the graphics on that model were significantly more powerful than the previous model before that. So within two years or two generations, this is really impressive by Intel. Now let's get into a quick Geekbench 5 OpenCL graphics test. We've got the 10 gen here in the 11 gen. Let's run it real quick. All right, there we have our scores. And as you can see, basically 40% higher with the new Intel XE graphics. It's actually pretty impressive, honestly. All right, now with those benchmarks done, let's jump into some gaming. Now we actually tried to run Black Ops Cold War beta but we got error messages, it wouldn't run. We're gonna be playing some Fortnite, but before we begin, I wanna mention that Max is actually gonna be doing a video comparing the 10th gen and 11th gen. He's gonna be testing the video editing performance, photo editing, other stuff like that, so definitely subscribe so you see that video. All right, we're starting off with the 10th gen chip, the i7, on the previous XPS 13. Of course, we've got the MX Master wireless mouse right here. So I'm turning off the frame rate limit. I've set it to full screen. We've got a little bit more than 1080p, so 1920 by 1200 because it's 16 by nine. And we've got everything set to high. So let's see how this does. Show FPS is on, motion blur is off. Let's do this. I'm getting into a solo match now. What I'm gonna be doing is testing out the exact same settings on the new 11th gen XPS. All right, here we go, and this is pretty bad. I'm dropping frames all over the place. This is horrible. 10 FPS, 9 FPS. This is completely unplayable. All right, I'm getting about 15, 16 right now. Drop down to 10. This is unplayable at these settings. Better not grab a gun, bro. Oh, it's probably a bot. Oh, snap, oh. The drop frames, man, it's the drop frames. Let's keep it at this resolution. I'm gonna drop it down to, I don't know, let's just go low, but we're gonna keep the 3D res at 100% to make sure we're still at that same resolution. It's doing better, it's doing better for sure. We're still experiencing a little bit of drop frames, but we're running at a pretty consistent 45 FPS. That's much better now that we're at low graphics. I might try to turn it down a little bit to see the graphic settings that we need to get 60 FPS. Yeah, right now we're getting about 35 FPS, sometimes dipping down to 30. It's not optimal, but I mean, on this thing, it's not bad. And remember guys, this is the older 10th generation i7 chip. So I'm very curious to see how the 11th gen's gonna do. 
the drop frames, man. No, sometimes it does dip down. I mean, it got down to like 20 right there, 27, 30. All right, I'm going back into the settings. Since I have everything on low already, let's turn it down. 1680 by 1050. So that's probably a little bit less than 1080p. Man, I could see all that aliasing of those hills right over there. So it looks like that didn't really do anything. We're still at like 30, 35 FPS. All right, let's go down. Oh man, this is almost like 720p, 1280 by 800. All right, so I set the resolution all the way down. It's still at like 30 forts. I don't know what's going on, but it cannot handle this game. I don't know what's I don't know what's up with it. This is really weird. Maybe it's the VRAM. The highest FPS I saw was 53, but that was for a split second. Now we're getting around 40, 30, sometimes in the 20s. Oh, grenade! All right, I mean, it's still playable, but not really. I mean, maybe it's the heat. You know, this is a very thin, very thin laptop. Maybe that's why. So I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna switch over to the 11 Gen right there. Here we are on the 11 Gen XPS 13 9310, and I can already feel that it is performing better than the old one. Let's go into those settings. Let's do full screen. We'll do 1920 by 1200. Take off this limit, just like that. Everything is on high, 3D res, we're set into 100%. We're gonna try out high, just like we did last time. 19 FPS right now, but I'm not really doing anything. Everything does look really good, but at 19, 20 FPS, it's just, it's not gonna cut it. Whew, this FPS is not doing it. Oh, he's fast. Yeah, I'm not getting enough FPS. Let's turn it down to this setting and let's go down to low. Just like we did last time, we got low and a little bit less FPS, 1680 by 1050. Oh, 3D res, we gotta turn up. Hey, this is actually doing a little bit better. I mean, I'm getting over 40 FPS now. Of course, some frame drops here and there, but 47 FPS right there. No, don't let me die. <laughs> <laughs> so bad, I almost died to this dude. Let's match the settings that we had before. 1280 by 800, 100% 3D res, everything turned down. I'm instantly seeing a graphics quality dip. And just like before, the FPS isn't really going up much. And I guess playing Fortnite on this thin and light laptop. Oh, look at that, 65 right there. Hey, this might actually be able to play this. Ooh, let's get this dude. Oh, snap, I'm scared. That guy was good. Sup, Bubba? Anyway, we just hit 65 FPS. That's not bad at all. We did have to turn the settings all the way down to like almost 720p with everything down to low. But if you just want to play Fortnite on this thing, you're going to turn everything down trying to get 60 FPS. So. Not too bad. All right, well, there you guys have it. So what did we learn from this video? Well, obviously, the Intel XE graphics is around 40% faster than the previous best that Intel had for integrated graphics. And within this game, the 10 generation model, the XPS, even if you turn everything all the way down, you're really not getting close to a decent experience. Whereas here, even when we didn't turn the resolution all the way down, we could still get around 45 FPS, which was pretty decent. But when we turned everything down, Everything started getting a little bit smoother. We'd get about 65 FPS sometimes with dips going down to 45, sometimes 30. But if you wanna get this Dell XPS, it's probably one of the best Windows laptops out there. Super thin, super light. You'll know that if you wanna do a little bit of gaming, you can get this thing with the Intel XE graphics integrated. You have to turn all the settings down, but you can at least get a almost 60 FPS gaming experience. You definitely don't get perfectly smooth with the integrated graphics, but you almost get there. So if somebody really wanted to, they could buy this thing and play some games with it. So hopefully you guys enjoy this video. And by the way, if you're not already subscribed, click that circle above because Max is gonna be doing a comparison video with the 10th generation and the 11, comparing everything in terms of performance, video editing, all that kind of stuff. So definitely subscribe for that and check out one of those two videos right over there. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.